Meghan Markle today praised South African teenage girls for standing up for what is right in a speech about gender-based violence during her and Prince Harry's visit to Cape Town's murder capital township. The Duchess of Sussex stood on a tree stump in Nyanga, where 206 are killed each year, to address crowds of local women and girls supported by Community Charity Justice Desk, which is supported by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. She said, May I just say that while I am here with my husband as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of color and as your sister. The Duchess, 38, has written about her racial heritage before, but this is thought to be the first time she has spoken about it publicly since becoming a royal. She and Harry, 35 touched down at the airport earlier this morning at the start of their 10-day tour of Africa. They visited the troubled township amid a major security presence, with details kept secret until the last minute to prevent any unrest and four-month-old Archie left behind at their residence with his nanny. Meghan began her speech by praising Justice Desk's work, which she said her and Harry had been eagerly following from afar. She said she felt humbled to be in the Nyanga community's presence, as they stood firm in their values of respect, dignity and equality. Quoting poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou, Meghan said, Each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it, possibly without claiming it, she stands up for all women. Now I know it's not easy and I know it must feel insurmountable at times, but your commitment to what is right gives all of us hope especially your brothers and sisters here in your community who need you to continue to shine your light brightly. Your commitment is inspiring, it is energizing and it is extraordinary. You must keep going, you must know that what you're doing not only matters, it is vital because you are vital. Hello. It is such privilege to meet all of you today and to start our visit, my first time in South Africa, here in Nyanga. We have just spent some time seeing all the incredible work that the Justice Desk does and of course all of you amazing women and the men who are here helping you, Mbakoto, you are incredible and what you are doing is so powerful, because you are all powerful. The work that's being done here is to keep women and children safer, which is needed now more than ever. This is an issue that's been at the forefront of people's minds here in South Africa, and of course across the globe, particularly over this past month. Please know that my husband and I have been closely following what you've been experiencing here, as best we can from afar. But now that we are with you, we are eager to learn and see firsthand the work that you're doing, the vital work that you're doing, and that everything that is being done on the ground is making the great change that you not only need but that you deserve. You have welcomed us into this community, have been open and honest with us, both about the dangers women and children face, and about how you are addressing them. The rights of women and girls is something that is very close to my heart, and the cause I have spent the majority of my life advocating for because I know that when women are empowered, the entire community flourishes. So to be able to meet all of you today who are standing up for what's right in the face of adversity, I applaud you. We are encouraged to hear your president take the next steps to work towards preventing gender-based violence through education and necessary changes to reinforce the values of modern South Africa. I do have to say I feel incredibly humbled to be in the presence of all of you as you stand firm in your core values of respect, dignity and equality. I read a quote a few weeks ago and it resonated with me as I've been watching what's been happening here and your active efforts. Maya Angelou, the legendary poet and civil rights activist, once said, each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it, possibly without claiming it, she stands up for all women. Now I know it's not easy and I know it must feel insurmountable at times, but your commitment to what is right gives all of us hope, especially your brothers and sisters here in your community who need you to continue to shine your light brightly. Your commitment is inspiring. It is energizing and it is extraordinary. You must keep going, you must know that what you're doing not only matters, it is vital because you are vital. And just on one personal note, may I just say that while I am here with my husband as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of color and as your sister.
I am here with you and I am here for you and I thank you so much for showing my husband and I the spirit of Ubuntu and I look forward to our time over the next few days together. Thank you so much for having us. Campaigners took to the streets of Cape Town earlier this month, following a series of attacks that have shocked the African nation, to protest at what they claimed was their government's failure to deal with the problem. Meghan and Harry watched South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's address to his country following days of protests, when he acknowledged the African nation was facing a national crisis of violence against women. The Duchess said, The work that's being done here is to keep women and children safer, which is needed now more than ever, this is an issue which has been at the forefront of people's minds here in South Africa and of course across the globe particularly over this past month. Please know that my husband and I have been closely following what you've been experiencing here, as best as we can from afar. She added everything that is being done on the ground is making the great change that you not only need but that you deserve. Meghan concluded with a personal message to the crowd. And just on one personal note, may I just say that while I am here with my husband as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman as a woman of color and as your sister. I am here with you and I am here for you and I thank you so much for showing my husband and I the spirit of Ubuntu and I look forward to our time over the next few days together. Thank you so much for having us." Harry told the audience, touching on what your president said last week, no man is born to cause harm to women, this is learned behavior, and a cycle that needs to be broken. So now, it's about redefining masculinity, it's about creating your own footprints for your children to follow in, so that you can make a positive change for the future. Gesturing to his head and heart the Duke added, to me, the real testament of your strength isn't physical, it's what's up here and what's in here. Your strength is in your spirit, which for me means honoring and protecting my wife, and being a positive role model for my son. In a lighter moment Meghan, who told her audience she was making her first visit to South Africa, danced with some performers after one woman Lily Tomezana, 23, took her hand. The dancer from the Nyanga Arts Center said, Meghan was a good dancer, she's very nice. Her dancing is fantastic, I've been dancing 10 years. Harry also spoke, and said it was incredibly important they started their 10-day visit in a South African township to learn about life in black settlements which have seen increasing amounts of violence against women. Later she and Harry visited the District 6 museum that honors thousands of families forcibly removed during the apartheid era. It came after the area, adjacent to the Cape Town Business District, was declared white only and bulldozers moved in to demolish homes. The Duchess wore a dress designed by the sustainable Malawi-based fashion brand Mayumiko and the couple sported matching Justice Desk beaded bracelets as they shook hands with beaming locals. 